uh, as everything else uh, has deteriorated, the BBC still used to know how to do great royal occasions. From the most cobwebbed recesses of its glorious past would come swimming up ancient memories of Richard Dimbleby and Raymond Baxter, and if only for a couple of hours, it was almost 1953 all over again. Not anymore. The great occasion type coverage has gone the way of all the other stuff. At the big Jubilee concert, Doc Brown was delivering a pean to uh, British sport, uh, the sport that makes you proud to be British, whether you cheer the three lions, as he put it, the red dragon, the shamrock or the thistle. And as he spoke up, as you can see, up flashed the English lions, the Welsh dragon, the Irish trickler and the Scottish salter. Wait a wait a minute, wait a wait a minute, wait a minute. The Irish trickler? Are the lads from Dundalk and Kilkenny back in the Union? They've seen the error of their ways. The dial in Dublin has figured the best way to ameliorate the Northern Ireland Protocol is for them to get the hell out of the EU too, as no self-respecting wearer of the green would ever entertain the notion that the answer to the Irish question is Michel Barnier. Well, no, apparently not. And yet, the BBC managed to mark the Platinum Jubilee by flying the Irish trickler under the nose of Queen Victoria at Buckingham Palace. Uh, I'm sure RTE will reciprocate by flying the Union flag during its forthcoming observances of the Irish Free State Centennial.